So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be- Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm gonna take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. Oh, hello, kids. Hello, middle-aged adult. Everything all right? Your uncle said you two were going to be knee-deep in trash for a few days. A few days? That's optimistic. It feels like every time we clear out a drawer, two more just appear out of thin air. Huh. Yes, you got my sympathies. When we emptied Linda's parents' house, oof, I thought we'd have to rent a backhoe. How is Linda? I feel like I haven't seen her in months. Good. Yeah, she started working over at the high school as the librarian. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... <laughs> I bet Brendan's thrilled. Oh, yeah. Happy as any teenager who's got to spend extra time with his mom. Well, I'll let you work. Eh, no worries. You're not a bother. Dr. Torres, you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. I'll need her information too then. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. Isabella Henderson, July 16th, 2009. Henderson. Different last name? Yes, her father's. My ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody. Because of my hours. She stays with me on the weekends. What's that look for? I forgot your birthday. Mm hmm I'm sorry, I got- Morning, Chief Brown. Good morning, Tyler. Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Look, now's not the best time. Well, maybe we can come back later then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer dealing with personal issues, I need to finish taking this woman's statement, and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping for some answers. Well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Oh, I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Of course, Miss Torres. Where were we? <coughs> well, he's obviously not going to give us the truth, so I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive. Go big or go home. All right. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6.13 a.m. because someone vandalized your mailbox. Officer Vincenzi was dispatched to your home at 6.29 a.m., but you couldn't stay to give a statement? Um, I had to be in surgery at nine. I was already running behind. Of course. It says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital? That's right. 
That sure is a commute. It certainly is. What's your usual working hours? I'm a surgical resident at one of the only hospitals in Southeast Alaska. I'm basically always on call. Uh, yeah, of course. Well, listen, we really appreciate you coming in after a 24-hour shift. Let's go upstairs, Tyler. up to over there everything all right uh yeah everything's fine we're just uh i was just telling tyler where the upstairs bathroom is tyler help me out here oh uh yeah toilet emergency lake water you know mother nature's juice cleanse and there's a bathroom just past the break room behind you first door on your right forget it tyler there's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this it's too suspicious could there you must be another way up details should we just look around up. yeah okay act normal there's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way out. Coming over to pick her up at 6.30. So I woke her up at 6. I made breakfast. There's no access to the first floor this way. We need to find another way out. I hadn't grabbed the mail the night before. Isabella asked to come with me. So I helped her into her coat and boots before we went up. We stepped outside. It was still quite dark, but she spotted it anyway. Someone... My back was to it because I was shutting the door. But Isabella is certain of what she saw. She says it was a little kid around her size. She shouted at them, but by the time I turned around, they were gone. A little kid. Mm, that's what she said. A little kid wearing stripes. What about you? Are you sure you didn't see anything? I... now at school she's back at her father's house for the week could i get mr henderson's information from you i think it'd be helpful if i could talk to isabella yes of course hey been meaning to say allison showed us that article you wrote for the juno daily last year you were spot on the state needs to be giving way more money to youth centers fireweed was lucky to have you thanks I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summoned Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh, oh. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, <laughs> sorry for the rant. What's up? How did you find out about the JCE? Same way anyone finds anything. The internet. It took a few months before I actually went to a meeting, though. Every time I thought about going, I chickened out. I can totally relate. Well, trust me when I say it was the right move. It is a wonderful, supportive community. Can't recommend it enough. So, how do you like being a cop? Must be kind of weird. Oh yeah, but I know I do a lot of good here. And the team's great. Chief Brown, he gets it. Really? Mm-hmm. We hired this guy last year who kept asking me to get him coffee. Chief canned his ass that day. <laughs> wow. Way to go, Chief Brown. What about you? Any thoughts on the future? 
Well, I studied to be a park ranger, and I'm hoping to do a tour in Denali. Hey, you know, I have a cousin who works in Yosemite. If Denali doesn't work out, I could see if they have any openings for you. <laughs> You'd do that? Of course. As long as you don't make me sorry I offered. Thanks, Denise. That'd be amazing. See you around, then. Yeah, back to the grind. We'll talk later, okay? You know the drill. Right, right. Break room or lobby. Thank you. Tyler. You head now? Uh, yeah. Gotta get going. Later. up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. Wait, really? Got a better idea? Aren't cops, like, trained to notice suspicious behavior? I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. Fire exit's right behind me. circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go. <coughs> Improvise. What about those missing people posters? I could pretend I've seen someone. Yeah, sure. Might work. How 
about saying someone's climbing the fence. Really? I can pretend they're outside, trying to break in. Uh, Alright. I could tip it over. Kind of messy, but I mean, sure. Eggs? I think someone's trying to climb over the station fence. Hmm. Must be the Herald kid again. Huh? Yeah, Jackson Herald's kid. He climbs over the fence because he doesn't, and I quote, feel like going round the block. Ah, right. Tyler. Oops. Tyler. All right. I'm in position. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. Eddie catches us in here. There's no turning back now. Huh. Hey, you. Though we are destined to burn, we emerge as stardust. Do you have to stick your nose in everything? Such a wordsmith. Oh, personnel files. Apartment budgets, but zero case files.
Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009? I did, but they rejected me. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer with no one but Justin Beaver for company. Why? Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but phew, that's a lot of money. More backdoors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. You finding anything? No. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but maybe there's something in Eddie's office. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. He volunteered to help. And since he pretty much knows everyone, and more importantly, who's called the cops on who, He's in charge of the seating chart. Let's put the Vecchies next to... Can you not? Dallas police force is getting a new officer. Finally. This guy has a record, and not a short one. Why is he even in the running? Shh. Eddie has a really hard time hiring people out here. I don't think he has a choice. There's always a choice. Seriously? You're gonna try to hack into his computer? We're here for information. And computers- Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I, I don't- I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the door? I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <sighs> Seriously? Go on, try. How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. How did that tune go again? Dum da dee do. How 
How did that tune go again? Dum da di do. How did that tune go again? Dum da di do. How did that tune go again? Dum da di do. How did that tune go again? Dum da di do. Yes. Uh, looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half-done sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. I'm gonna go keep a lookout. What? Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? Because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. Neither. Uh, where's the damn box? Well, huh? What was that reference number again? Zero five R sixty eight six fifty three. No, that's not it. Finding anything? Huh. What was that reference number again? 05 R68 653. Here we go. Step-by-step -step record of the investigation. 